Yes, yes, Rasco and Disco beer review with me, Disco, coming at you with another beer video from in front of the cans and bottles here on the bar, and what I'm still theoretically calling the Disco Arms. This video brings you something a little bit naughty, maybe something a little bit controversial. I say that because it is I Love Lamp, a pineapple hefeweizen from Evil Genius Brewery in Philadelphia, USA. I say controversial because hefeweizen is German beer style, and... German beer styles are under uh, Reinertsgebot, which is, I have probably pronounced that wrongly, but it's the German purity laws where they state that beers should only have the four base ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, and yeast. So to put something like pineapple flavouring in, as they've done here, is against German purity laws, but it's not brewed in Germany, so maybe it doesn't matter. Now, I'll do this one now because uh, it comes after the weekend, where I was up at my local brewery, Perivale. And they had a cucumber hefeweizen. Now, I said to the brewer, Mike, A, what possessed you to put cucumber in hefeweizen? And B, isn't that against German purity laws? But we're not in Germany, as I say. So you can put whatever you like in a beer, in theory. Um, the cucumber hefeweizen, jury's still out for me on cucumber in a beer. It was a really, really nice beer, fresh out the back of the brewery. But then so was their base Hefeweizen the month before, tasting absolutely superb in the summer sun. Not just me, you said that, Craig from Kent Beer Reviews with me, and I think he agreed on that as well. So to find our junks in beer, it's a bit like asking pineapple on pizza, or I suppose pineapple in beer. Does it really matter? Uh, evil genius, don't think so. Uh, are they genius or not? I don't know. It actually says on the back of the, uh, on the, back of the can, uh, a German wheat beer with a Hawaiian twist. This refreshing German Hefeweizen got taken on a tropical vacation with the addition of natural pineapple flavour. Does this go against the German beer purity law? Yep. Is that the way we like it? Yep. Well, I, to be fair, as with Paravale and the cucumbers, I applaud trying something different, trying something a bit new, trying something a bit unusual, which Paravale are very, very good at, by the way. Let's see if Evil Genius are too with this pineapple hefeweizen. Let's get it in a glass, see what we can taste. Can use a slightly unusual and maybe not really against regulation, but just kind of something different because it's an American can, so it's slightly oversized, so I need a slightly oversized glass. To fit it all in. See if I can get a proper hefeweizen pour on it. Just give it a little break, a little bit of a head. Looks good so far. Looking really nice. Good. Yeah, definitely a pineapple colour. Again, looks a bit darker on screen, maybe lighter in front of my face there. Definitely some sort of pineapple colour, kind of a little bit of orangeness, a little bit of dark brown maybe. Let's check out the aroma. Mm. It's a little bit of, um, it's definitely some pineapple, a little bit of fruitiness, nothing too heavy. Yeah, coming through now, there's that kind of yeasty kind of aroma that you get from a hefeweizen, a slight banana riesta, but nothing, it's not stronger than a banana, it's more definitely pineapple kind of fruit. The other thing about um, pineapple hefeweizen, I suppose, because even with those purity laws, you can get those kind of flavours from the hops. I can't, I don't know enough about hops, but I can't think that there's a hop that just does pineapple, you tend to get a bit of pineapple, probably a bit of pine, maybe some dankness, certainly some citrus, probably grapefruit, maybe some orange, touch of lemon perhaps. Um, so they've actually put some pineapple flavour, whether that's actual pineapple or pineapple puree or what, I don't know. They had dissipated pretty quickly, but uh, it's quite hazy in there, can't see too much on the carbonation. I quite like the aroma, there's definitely a hint of pineapple in there, a hint of fruit. Cheers, let's dive in. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. There's that wow moment uh, that I talked about in a few other videos. Um, yes, very definitely a Hefeweizen and body. It's got that kind of thick, wheaty uh, kind of body to it. There's definitely some... It's definitely a hint of those like pineapple cubes. Do you remember those as a kid? Pineapple cubes and cola cubes. Uh, there's definitely a hint of that pineapple cube candy. Got American now, haven't I? Pineapple cube sweets or candy, as they were called. I don't know if you have them in America. I don't know. I know there's a few Americans that watch this, so let me know. Um, a little bit of sweetness. There's a certain. It's got that kind of hefeweizen. I could say the body, the wheatiness, a uh, touch of spice, touch of herb, touch of salinity. There's not a massive sweetness to it, which is fine. I quite like the sweeter beers, but there's definitely a little bit of pineapple juice there, a little bit of pineapple cube sweetness. Um, I wouldn't say it's heavy on the juice. It is very tasty. Probably I should have served it a little bit colder. I just didn't quite chill it down enough. It's been in my cupboard since I got it. Uh, I picked it up from Beer 52 uh, subscription service in this in the UK. Again, one, I actually purchased this rather than getting it by accident in, like I said in my previous video, link at the end, where I forgot to cancel the subscription for the month. And I got a box of beers that are actually really good there from Scotland. So I went back and bought some more. I'll use this and a couple of others uh, to kind of make the order up uh, to use up my points. Uh, I was pleased to see it again because I saw a pineapple hefeweizen and I thought that's a bit different. That's a bit unusual. I want to see what that tastes like. And I'm glad I did. It's very interesting. Um, pineapple flavour is developing, but it's not heavy. It's quite balanced against the, the yeasty wheatiness of the hefeweizen i normally think hefeweizen's got a banana rest of flavor to it there's not so much of that it's more the 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 yeastiness rather than the actual banana flavor there's a touch of that but there's definitely a tropicalness to it definitely a yeah definitely a tropical fruit kind of fruit punch thing going on in the background it is nice and balanced it's very tasty i've met that fairly quickly to be fair I forgot to check the percentage. Not that it ever normally bothers me. Can't see it on the can, so that will flash up on the screen in a caption somewhere up there. Um, it's a really nice beer. Uh, it should be colder, should be cooler. The glass should probably be cold as well. Uh, not too much lacing on the glass. I generally think there's uh, not too much on the head retention, but not too much on the carbonation. Um, but a really nice beer. I don't know what natural pineapple flavour is, whether it's puree or some kind of additive, but it's not particularly, I suppose it is a little bit syrupy, a little bit, that's probably what it is, isn't it, pineapple syrup, is a little bit syrupy, like I say, with the, the pineapple cubes. Um, but for my palate, it's not offensive. It's very nice. I've drunk it very quickly, probably too quick. It's a very nice beer. I'd love to see it again. Um, is it one I'd go back for? Maybe, maybe not. It's certainly something I'd like to see in this country. Maybe with Paravel, if you want to do a pineapple Hefeweizen, that would be awesome. Fresh as, fresh out of the brewery. Um, that would be really nice. So Paravel, if you want to do a pineapple Hefeweizen, I'd be all over that. Um, I don't know. Uh, the best before on that can is uh, next year. So it's probably fairly fresh. Uh, come over from America in a beer 52. Uh, I like it. It's really nice. That pineapple flavour is definitely there. Definitely quite nice bouncing against the hefeweizen flavours. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm going to finish that off. Cheers. Until the next one, enjoy the beers. Mm -hmm.